Welcome to the Pine Hosting Console page. From here, you can issue power actions for your server, monitor your server resources, and send console commands to your game server. To start with, probably the most important feature is the power actions. At the top right here, we've got start, restart, stop. This allows you to easily start your server, restart it, and stop it. You can also kill your server if it ever hangs for some reason. Below that, we have all your server information. So to begin with, we have your IP and port, which you can click to copy. We have your play account, as well as your max players. You can click this to view all the players on your server. Obviously, I don't have anyone on the server right now, but if I did, you would see all the player names as well as how long they've been on the server. You can refresh this information whenever you need, obviously. Then we have the machine you're on, in this case, Texas 03, and your billing information. If you click this, it'll show you how many days you have left, your due date, your billing cycle, and a few other important bits of information. We then have your resource usage. So we have disk usage, which is how much storage space you're using and the max you can use, CPU usage, which is how much CPU percentage you're using and your max CPU percentage. Obviously, if you see your CPU usage spiking close to your max, then it would be a good idea to look at upgrading your CPU or potentially looking at optimizing your server as there could be a plugin that's causing CPU spikes. Same thing applies for memory usage. You can see I'm using 6.3 out of eight gigabytes over here. If this starts getting close to eight gigabytes, my server could be at risk from crashing and I would suggest upgrading the memory or looking at optimizing my server and getting the memory usage down. And then this one is the network graph. This can look a little bit messy at times, but it's a pretty good way to see if there's something causing network spikes on your server. As you can see, the network usage is pretty low right now and it shows you your inbound and outbound. This is the total that you've used. And then this graph shows you the real time inbound or outbound network usage. If you have some plugins running and you see a large spike, for example, then you know that potentially that plugin is causing that spike and you can look at optimizing it. On all the resource usage, you'll see a little upgrade icon over here on the right. If you click this, it'll take you directly to the billing page where you can easily upgrade or downgrade your resources whenever you need. And then probably the most important thing about the console page is the actual console. From here, you can enter console commands for any game server. This is a Rust server that I'm running, so I could just type players, for example, and then it'll give me a list of players, which I obviously don't have any online right now. This lets you execute any command in console if you ever need to. On the right, we have one of our coolest features. This is Pine AI. If you click this little bug icon, it'll open up an error reader that you can click start reading. This will quickly scan your console for any common errors. Essentially how this works is we keep a database of a bunch of different common errors for all different types of games we host. If it detects an error, it will pop up with a little snippet of information about the error, as well as a link to a knowledge base telling you how to resolve that error. This isn't perfect and it obviously won't detect all errors, but if you do see an error in console that you might not fully understand, it's a good way to just give it a quick scan and see if we already have it in our database. That covers the basics of the console page. Obviously, if you have any further questions, feel free to open a ticket with us and our support team will be happy to assist.